What's going on guys, it's me Ellie and welcome back to another episode where we're going to explore our new tasty out of bounds. Last time we already explored Paramonia Forest and the temple itself. The temple itself it was absolutely interesting. And now we're moving to Scrapania. However, I can already tell that I did not explore so many interesting things. And the reason why is because the camera itself did not allow me to move it up or down. It, it was completely locked most of the section. So this was the best what I could find. So hope you at least enjoy. So let's start right now. So already at the beginning I mentioned I'll let the camera zoom out and we can now get a good look at the first section here. In this part here, you see this stone here hanging in the air, and if you to take the camera off, you could actually see that it is hanging in the air. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, no, maybe not. Yeah, so before I enter the next section, I decided to move the camera to the left, and I noticed that these cliffs in the background are 3D model, of course. But those cliffs, much further, are flat images, very similar to those trees from Paramonia that were also flat images. They literally use the same trick. So moving into the next section, and we automatically got Elum without ringing the bell, and that means flying Elum is back. Okay, not really. Because most of the time I, I had to leave alone because it frustrated me so much when I used him when flying around. Because he always goes back to the latest position where he literally took his step. And that was so annoying. So I had to continue exploring without him. But anyway, so when I was flying around with him, I could be able to zoom the camera in. And we can now get a better look at the the platforms and the cliffs itself and also the trees here. Also in the beginning I just got to see that the platform here and behind it there's nothing it's probably to save some memory because you wouldn't be able to see it and now I got a much better look by just zooming up and we can get to see the first section but it, it's get, it gets a little bit hard because of the fog anyway so I again decided to explore the background and got again a much better look at the platform. Not so much see, so so let's continue. Okay, in this section here things get a little bit interesting. First, I just uh, made a little fun glitch here. If I let Ape Chan, well, I let him fly up, his Chan particle keeps staying with him all the time, even if he doesn't really Chan at all, and he keeps saying yo, 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 yo. A little bit fun, so I decided I want to let this stay for the whole video. Kind of, because there are many times that it got disabled, but. I could activate it again. Yeah. Anyway, so. So moving down in this part where you have to get the the red ring from this Medakin, I decided to let apes go to him 
And interestingly enough, there is actually a collision on this platform, and Ape can step on them, even this one down here. But it seems like he can hang in this platform. I don't think any problem. No. Interestingly, interestingly enough, if Ape go into this wall here, he crouch, and for some reason he just fall down. A little bit weird. I don't even know how that happened at all. And everything just went chaotic for me, like thinking, oh, where, where am I right now? <laughs> okay, no. Even here, if you let it go onto this side, there's also collision here. It's pretty cool. But this stone on the other side, the cactus doesn't have collision at all. Also here, Ape could be able to step on this platform. He could even press the lever by himself without entering the password. Okay, that was a bit hilarious. But in, a bit of an interesting discovery. So in this part here, I couldn't do so much with the camera because, like I said, it didn't allow me to go up. So the best thing I could do was to zoom the camera out and just get a look how it all looks. And also, right here, I just want to see if Ape could also step. Well, he could. But not that a big surprise, because I tried this twice now and got a good result. But also here, I wanted to try a little experiment. I wanted to see if the beast reacted to this Murdoken that gave me the red ring. If I lured the beast into him. Interestingly enough, they actually did, but the Murdoken didn't react at all. Hmm. Interesting. So in this part here, for the first time ever, I possessed a sleek. And it seems like I could also let him fly when I control him. Okay, it's not that of a big interest when I possess him. But I just wanted to see if it, if it actually works. And it did. So, now we are already at the end because there wasn't so many interesting things to see, so I skip, skipped it all for you. And in this part, I finally managed to let the camera look down. And going down, we can see that most of these clips are a lot bigger than we thought that. We could never be able to see them, especially with that thick fuck. Yeah. And here's another thing that is interesting. This part here is actually right here. Okay, not that interesting, but just so you know. So before reaching the end, there's something I... I really discovered. That's interesting. You see these two ropes here. If we take the camera down, and by doing that, we have to go a little bit more left so we can trigger the invisible wall that doesn't allow me to go down. And going to the right, we can see that these ropes is much more longer. Like. Pfft. Whoa, was that really necessary? I mean, we would ever be able to see this. And yeah, and the last thing I want to show you before ending this part here is when you go to the right, you trigger the cutscene and you about to go into the Scrapenia Temple. But what is actually on the other side? So, I did the same trick what I did when I tried to see where the rope came from by just moving the camera down and up. But before I did that, I decided to move much more to the right to see where this rope here ends. And it's already ending here. Anyway, so back to the platform. 
Yeah, speaking of this, there it is. There is actually nothing. It already ends here. But when I moved to the left, it triggered the cutscene. So then I moved to the Scrapinian Temple. So yeah, I guess that's it. Well, it was kind of dis disappointing, the Scrapinian part. But next time we're going to explore Scrapinian Temple and I believe there is going to be a lot of interesting things to see in Scrapania Temple, like we did with Paramonia Temple last time. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.